Okay, so today is a special day. Uh, we are going to actually do a farm tour today. So if anyone was curious where anything is, please let me know in chat so we can go check it out. Uh, today I'm going to reset so you don't need to worry about the timer running out or anything. But there's just a few things that I feel like I've never really shown off on camera or like shown off once on camera that now I kind of get a chance to show all of you as I'm going around here. So first of all, you probably, a lot of you have probably seen this dresser before. This is just where I kind of keep everything that can go in this dresser, right? I used to just use chests here, which is why all these chests are here, but now they're just used to store weapons. Oh, it's a person. Hey, cat! thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, these chests over here, if you've ever wondered, uh, are where I store all of the furniture. Uh, so like anything that doesn't stack and it's furniture just kind of goes over here, so it's out of the way. Okay. Uh, down here is where I used to cask wine, but now I don't cask wine anymore because it's not worth the profit. Thank you for the high YouTubes. Can you show us how to turn children into doves? No, you can Google a tutorial about that. This week on Hoarders. <laughs> Thank you, Blade. Yes, it's exactly what's going on right now. Uh, so I've talked about all my chests in a previous video, and that hasn't really changed at all. So I'm not going to revisit that exactly but usually what I do every morning is I come down here drop off anything in my inventory and head over to the large amount of fish ponds and statues of endless fortune so for this challenge I need an absolute metric ton of fish fish row and aged row uh, as well as a few other select items so having all these fish ponds is really the best way to handle that particular thing uh, these statues here they're called statues of endless fortune for those of you who don't know and then each one uh, produces a different item every day. If it's on a birthday, it's a love gift for the person whose birthday it is. If it's a um, not a birthday, then it has a 1 in 4 chance of producing either an Omni Geode, a Diamond, a Gold Bar, or an Iridium Bar. They're $1 million each, and I've got a whole bunch of them. This seems so unnaturally professional. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can see they're in my Mushroom Cave as well. Uh, Let's see here. So after I'm done with collecting all my fishy goodies, I typically head on over to the beach. Unfortunately today it is a festival day, so we can't go in uh, over this way, but I'll show you the sewer anyways through a different route. But I'll collect anything on the beach that I need. I'm slowly running out of things that I need on the beach, and then I head up here to head to the sewers. Uh, we're going to have to take the scenic route, so we'll take our good old fashioned horse over there. Fishy goodies indeed, Onion. Okay, so coming down through here. Eventually, this whole area is going to be filled up with... Um, horsey. <laughs> Definitely thought I could make that gap. Uh, eventually, this whole area down here is going to be filled up with Statues of Endless Fortune. At the moment, I've only got enough to fill up this far. Uh, I have to get 999 Statues of Endless Fortune, so I might as well put them to work. So if we come all the way through here, you can see I come down through here, collect all of these, head over to our good friend Crobo, and usually buy whatever he's offering. I don't need farmer's lunches, but I usually need solar essence, so I'll buy that. Okay, there's nothing in the mutant bug cave, although I learned recently because of piano that you can actually put things in the mutant bug cave and they don't disappear. I thought for a long time that that was not possible. All right, let's go check out our desert. So we come to the desert pretty often, mostly because I need a whole lot of gems. Uh, mostly jade. <laughs> the rubies are just so I can get some uh, spicy eels and kind of keep up my amount because I use them a lot. But all of this jade is for staircases, which I'll eventually need to get auto petters from the harder mines. I'm sorry, the <laughs> skull caverns, not the harder mines. Uh, you'll see I've got all these filled with staircases. I have the right number of chests. Once I fill up all these chests, we're right now right here. I don't think I have any in this. Oh, I do. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're getting pretty close, actually. <laughs> but once I fill up all of these chests, I will have enough uh, to start doing that. I still need some of my luck buffs, though. So I'm trading in all these jades for staircases. Uh, right here, I have mayonnaise machines. Some people ask me why I use mayonnaise machines at all. I've got golden chickens, and they're actually not bad for making a little bit of money. So you just pop them all in here and each one gives you three gold quality mayo and they sell for quite a bit of money 
Okay, and that's pretty much it as far as my desert goes. I've got Sandy in there. That's where I buy my Statues of Endless Fortune. Uh, I occasionally come over here to pick up these coconuts so I can get iridium quality coconuts and just coconuts in general. Okay, that's my desert. Um, I think the last thing I should probably show off in detail here at, before the island uh, are my fields of kegs. So they start over here in the quarry. Glad we picked a day when it's all ready to go. And then as we follow through here, I go up and down, up and down, all through here, filling up all these kegs. I have about 1,200 kegs in total, uh, and I use pretty much all of them. We come cut through here, fill all of this up, come back, and we head back over to the bus stop where we just left from. Fill up all through here, make our way over to uh, the backwoods, I think you call this area. I fill up up through here. Oops, let's uh, go ahead and grab ourselves another speed boost. And then through here as well. Go out here and then come back out to do the bottoms. All right. So the only place I haven't really shown off in detail is the island. I don't think there's many secret sequestered passageways that I have anywhere. Uh, I don't have anything over on this part of the island where the pirate cove is. At least nothing placed. I don't really have anything on the resort either. And in fact, the only place where I've got really much of anything outside of like a few Junimo chests is in the farm area uh, where <laughs> I do a lot of different things. So these are all heavy tappers in case I need things like pine tar, oak resin, and maple syrup. Uh, it's just convenient to have them there. Uh, this is where I grow all the star fruit that I eventually keg and wine. Uh, down here on this part, I just cleared it out the other day, but this is where I grow my mahogany trees for extra hardwood. Eventually I'm going to need, uh, eventually I'm going to be done with hardwood and then I'll probably use this area for something different. I haven't decided yet. I uh, use every available space over here for star fruit just because it's on my way anyways. When I come down here, I get all the coconuts off the trees. Uh, if we head over to the nut room really quickly, I'll show you something that I do that I really like because it's super useful. Thank you all for supporting the channel with your chats. Uh, <laughs> I keep a lot of the things for Q's quest ready to go in here. So I've got one of every color. I'm using gems for now, but that's going to change. Like I've got the lemon stones because my statues of endless fortune, I get something of every color pretty much except for blue, which I use the blue discus row because I have a metric ton of blue discus row. Uh, so, that's what I do if I ever have a quest that requires items. I just keep them handy there. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's just about all I really have on here. I guess I didn't talk about my animals down here, so let's go through that really quick. This is what's left of my farm field. The farm fields that used to stretch all over the whole farm. But now that I'm pretty much done with farming, I just keep this small one here in case I need something. Uh, my greenhouse, pretty straightforward. Oh, I need to clear it out. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any fruit trees, and a lot of people ask me why, and the answer is they kind of just block sight at this point. I'm all done with fruit for the challenge, um, so no more fruit trees are necessary. So I just use hyperspeed grow to just grow a bunch in there, a bunch of star fruit in there. I've got actually a pretty funny story about <laughs> these uh, goats here. I didn't have a stack of goat milk, and I totally forgot to make one for some reason. Maybe I used it up. I honestly can't remember exactly. Um, but I had to make a new barn full of goats because I got rid of my goats at that point. So I just kind of leave them here in case I need milk for anything. I might change that in the future. Uh, over here we've got our ostriches. Um, I recently just finished um, ostrich eggs. However, I'm going to get iridium quality mayo because I can. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to be using a hundred of these when I get them, which should be pretty soon, to just get myself a thousand iridium quality mayo. So the stack looks nicer for the most part. Uh, these two are both golden chickens. So I can just come in here if I need a little bit of extra cash injection and sell all these. After using them for mayo, of course. Uh, actually, we'll come back to that. So these are my rabbits. I use the rabbits because there's a Q quest for loved gifts, 50 loved gifts in a week. And these rabbits feet are perfect for that. So I just let them accumulate and I use them when I need them. So both of these here are full of rabbits. 
And then this last one here are all my legacy animals. So I've had all most of these animals since close to the beginning of the game. Um, the golden chickens are obviously much more recent. They are still a bit old. And that one, Linus. Okay. Uh, bunnies are pretty old as well. That's Lily. Ollie. And that's a golden chicken. But the ducks... Well, the dinosaur is pretty old too, right? Littlefoot and Littlefoot. <laughs> I'm very creative when it comes to dinosaur names. Well, the ducks are actually the oldest with Don Fluffles at 98 months and Baba Letu at 100 months. Latu. <laughs> so I recently got a duck to 100 months of being in this game. That's how long I've been playing. <laughs> oh, welcome in, mermaid. Oh, well, mermaid's not here. You're just... <laughs> Okay, and that is a pretty thorough tour tour of everything I've got in the farm. There's a few like little tucked away things here and there, but nothing really substantial. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.